Do you have a favorite song? There are two possible reasons why you like a song. It's either you love the rhythm or you understand the lyrics. If you find both reasons applicable, then you are a great listener. We hear sounds around us and it is always our choice to pay attention or to just let them pass through our ears. We often ignore noise that bothers us yet we always lend our ears and find comfort in music. Our brain interprets the emotion we feel upon hearing the sounds and allows us to respond to what we hear depending on how we feel. But a different situation happens to students inside the classroom. Either motivated or tired, students like you are always encouraged to listen attentively for you to learn. That is why, it is very important for you to develop good listening skills for they play a vital role in the learning process. In this lesson, you will learn tips that will help in enhancing your listening skills. Hearing is an accidental and automatic brain response to sound that requires no effort. For example, we are familiar to the sounds of siren of the ambulance, the laughter of our friends, the rattling of pots and pans in our kitchen, and so on. We hear those incidental sounds and we train ourselves to ignore them, unless we have a reason to do otherwise. We learn to filter out sounds that mean little to us, just like we choose to hear our ringing cell phones and other sounds that are more important to us. Listening, on the other hand, is purposeful and focused rather than accidental. As a result, it requires motivation and effort. It is active, focused, concentrated attention for the purpose of understanding the meanings expressed by a speaker. There is no doubt that effective listening is an extremely important life skill. Why is listening so important? Listening serves a number of possible purposes, and the purpose of listening will depend on the situation and the nature of the communication. 1. To specifically focus on the messages being communicated, avoiding distractions and preconceptions. 2. To gain a full and accurate understanding into the speaker's point of view and ideas. 3. To critically assess what is being said. 4. To observe the non-verbal signals accompanying what is being said to enhance understanding. 5. To show interest, concern and concentration. 6. To encourage the speaker to communicate fully, openly and honestly. 7. To develop a selflessness approach, putting the speaker first. 8. To arrive at a shared and agreed understanding and acceptance of both sides' views. How to listen. As you listen, the tips below will help you get the worthy ideas of the text you are listening to and help you understand it. 1. Begin by listening carefully to the main idea so that you can identify the subject. 2. Listen for key words to help you remember details. You might want to take down important words. If you are listening to a narration or description, try to visualize the details. If you are listening to an exposition, Try to understand the order behind the arrangement of the detailed sentences. One way to remember the important details in a text you are listening to is to pay attention to the discourse markers. Discourse markers are words or phrases whose function is to organize discourse, speech, into segments. These are some discourse markers emphasizing important ideas. Above all, significantly, in particular, indeed, especially, notably or take note, importantly, always remember, and bear in mind, if you heard these discourse markers, you have to take note the statements for they may be worthy ideas of the text you are listening to. 3. Think about what you are listening to. Sorting out or arranging the main ideas in your mind helps you identify the points to remember. Try to jot down the main points. Go over the speech from beginning to end. Recall details. 